Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Panda Skills here again. Um, so before I start this video, um, the, what I was trying to do is, I'm trying to do a 1022 tactical. Um, you've probably seen them in Unfancy's videos and a bunch of other people's videos. And uh, so I was trying to figure out the best 1022 to buy. And I looked online and all that stuff and I was thinking, well, maybe I should go for the cheap Walmart version or just, uh, you know, maybe I'll go to... Uh, any high-end place or whatever, but um, then I realized, well, how about, why not a 1022 Tactical? And then I looked, and um, so I picked up one, picked up the 1022 10, Tactical uh, with a threaded barrel, and uh, I figured I'd show y'all, open it up with y'all, and uh, take a look. So, here we go. Okay, got one of these little doohickeys, need that. And here is the 1022. Let's go ahead and pull out everything else. Probably the standard lock, keys, and all that stuff. Got a mount for sights, and your locking prism, and the manuals over here in the back. Okay. So, here it is the tactical 1022 with a threaded barrel. Um, of course, it, it's got the extended magazine release um, and the 10 round magazine. Um, it's got a aluminum receiver. Um, it's highly polished, so that looks, that looks, pretty, that looks pretty sick, if you ask me how shiny that is. Um, Polymer trigger guard. Um, I guess some people don't like it. I, I really don't care. Um, and then there's your barrel, the band, and then the threaded barrel. Um, go ahead and take that off. And there it is. And then this has just a little slip cover and this is this uh from what i read online this is the the mini 14 style flash hider um so I'll, I'll probably replace that so basically my intentions of this gun is i'm going to remove the stock put on an archangel 556 um which i'm waiting on in the mail um and then i'll probably do videos of that and i'm just gonna tactically mod it out um but yeah, so if you are trying to do a tactical 1022 and you don't know what kind of 1022 to get, um, I would highly recommend this one because it's got the threaded barrel. So you don't have to put that retarded looking flash hider on there where it's just a cover. Um, and you could put a suppressor on it or whatever um, that you want to do. Um, and it's specifically made by Ruger. You don't have to worry about having to get like a aftermarket barrel and trying to fit it on there and making sure it you have to sand it down or whatever. Um, it's designed for the 1022 by Ruger, and that's what I wanted. I wanted a barrel that was made by Ruger, um, so I know that there should not be any malfunctions within the receiver and the barrel and all, and you know it just being itself um so that's why i got this um tactical 1022 um so i'll i'm most likely i'm gonna keep the stock if i if i ever want to you know convert it back to its original form but um yeah if you're wanting to do a tactical 1022 right here this is the gun or not gun but rifle that you want to get um in my opinion. Um, so I don't have to change out the barrel, I don't have to get any aftermarket parts and spend the exact same amount of money that the rifle costed. And I bought this pretty high priced, it was um, $2.99 where I got it, but I literally had to call to like 20 different gun shops to find this rifle. Apparently, I don't know if they stopped making it or um, what it is, but I had to I had to hunt for this rifle, and I'm glad that I found it. 
Um, so I'm going to show y'all uh, other video or upload other videos of me modding it out and all that stuff. So um, stay tuned and uh, watch the other videos. So if you guys like this video, comment, share, like. Um, if you didn't like it, comment, share, and like. And if I wasted your time, man, comment, share, and like. All right, guys, take it easy and uh, talk to y'all later.